let's talk a little about about Israel's goals. Uh, you mentioned that a strategy is is kind of this link between you know, resources at hand and and a, a national goals and achievements. And this is a big part of your book. Um, is that to have a strategy, uh, you need to both identify what the sources of power are and what the goals are. Well, I think Israel's first and foremost objective, its raison d'être, is to be a natural home for the Jewish people after 2,000 years of dispersal. And it's, so it's a strong, secure home for Israelis, but it's also a national center, a cultural center for the Jewish people around the world. That's number one. Then Israel wants to, um, once security is established, Israel also wants to be a, a place that is good, that's fun to live in. And so promoting socioeconomic growth and welfare is also a very high uh, priority for the country. Maintaining a strong alliance with the United States is absolutely critical. Improving Israel's international standing around the world. You said that's been suffering in the book. You mentioned it's been suffering, and that's gave you some concern over the last couple of decades. Deep, yeah. So how how does that how does that get fixed, or what what happens? Is it the international community that needs to change? Is it Israel that needs to change well, its behavior? I'm not sure that the international community is going to change because Israel wishes it to. We're still the smaller guy on the block. Um, there's a cross between a couple of currents. On the one hand, Israel has very good relations with most governments. We, uh, we have diplomatic relations with more countries than ever in history, uh, extensive economic and even military ties with more countries than ever before. There's this opening we were talking about with the Sunni countries. On that level, things are good. In terms of public opinion, international public opinion, especially in Europe, Israel's position is terrible. And that's something that Israel cannot af really afford. And if you say, well, Israel could afford to lose European public opinion, there are all sorts of negative inroads in American public opinion today. That's something that I think Israel absolutely cannot afford. Mm -hmm. The truth is that there's a very simple solution to all this. It's changing Israel's policy on the West Bank issue. That's a sovereign decision that the government of Israel can make. 